you here. And here we are at Sierra Road again, the proving ground. The Sierra Road hill climb, right? We're not really here to test the the, the Super Cup's uh, performance. Well, we are kind of, okay? But uh, we're here to test the handling, performance, and ride quality of the Honda C Super Cup C125 with the YSS suspension upgrades, all right? More specifically, the YSS front fork fork upgrade. Now, I don't want to say front because they only have forks in the front. <laughs> but here we are. Super Cub is uh, struggling going up this. <laughs> Where my, my electric bikes will just charge right up this. I'm wide open throttle on third gear. They're doing 35, barely. Should I downshift? I don't know. Alright. I'll tell you this. The ride is it's, it, feels, it feels more bumpy. You can feel more on the road, alright? Which I guess is a good thing and a bad thing. Okay, first corner, that was a sharp one. Oh my God, it's just crawling up here. Look at the cherry blossoms, it's blossoming. Struggling, it was supposed to rain today and what, what happened? What happened to the rain? <laughs> Let's say, all right, here we go. All right, but I'll tell you this, yes, it's stiffer. The ride is, it didn't really affect the ride all that much though because it's stiffer. Um, the braking, the mo yeah, I think the number one thing you'll notice with this fork kit is the braking. Oh my god. Second gear. The, the number one thing you'll notice with this uh, fork kit is the braking is much, much better. All right, having that thicker fluid in there and stiffer front forks um, is good for the braking. However, we're not going to need the brakes all that much going uphill. All right, this is pretty bumpy here. I can feel... Yeah, you, you can feel uh, a good deal more, uh, what is it, uh, vibrations in the handlebar, that's for sure. So maybe maybe the comfort is not as good with this, that's for sure. <laughs> but then again, it is was pretty vibey before anyway, so. Alright, wow, it's barely getting up all this stuff. And we already caught up to somebody. Oh, look at this squid here, man. Squid life. I can't believe we caught up to somebody in the Super Cup. That's uh, unheard of. <laughs> the thing is, we're not going to have power to pass it, guys. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not. Re I'm not really interested in going really fast, anyways, guys. I just want to test out how the ride and the handling feels. That's the main deal. All right. It is a little bit stiffer. All right. I, I would say it's. It it's. It just feels a little bit stiffer than it was before. You'll notice that, like. Uh, the handling is sharper. It wants to turn quicker, for sure. It's like it's like if you you kind of overinflated your front tire a little more, type of thing. Maybe if you wanted it to ride a little better, you could probably go down on the tire pressure. Oh my God, we're just crawling up this. Oh, there's a lot of mud, dirt here and stuff. God, they're going so slow around the corner. You're definitely not going to be able to pass that on the uphill. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> he just left us. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I, Hades Mega is planning to ride the whole loop today. All right. Uh, I'm not going to go up and go down like, you know, if I'm for just doing a regular test. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing. So, um, there's going to be some flat sections, is what I'm going to say. Right, oh, look at that. Beautiful, man. Can't wait to get to the top. Road's a little dirtier than it was before. Look at this here. Really dirty. I'm barely keeping up with the Volvo, actually. <laughs> On the steep stuff? Yeah, man. At least they're keeping it tidy in the lines. Well, you'd be surprised. People can't keep it in the lines, man. They'll be driving wherever the hell they want, you know. Uh, 
yeah, it's not bad. You know, like like I said, the suspension wasn't really good before anyway, so <laughs> it's not it's not really that much harsher than it was before. But I, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna feel the the handlebars vibrate a little bit more, especially at higher RPMs. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm barely, I'm barely getting up here, man. I'm wide open throttle on third gear, I ain't climbing. I kind of want to pass, man. But I don't have the power. And maybe in second gear we'll have power, because they're going hella slow. Yeah, you know, if I had my super moto, I would just blast in front of this guy, man. But... <laughs> Actually, the back is feeling kind of stiff. Well, we're already almost at the top anyway, so... Barely enough power to climb this. This is the kind of steepest section right here, so. But yeah, uh, the ride, not much worse than before. I'll tell you that. I didn't really get to check the brakes out at all because we didn't use them at all. I'm gonna get a second gear here, man. This shit. <laughs> it's not powerful at all. If I had the light B or the red shift, I would pass, man. But anyway, we're at the top already. We'll stop and get a quick picture if they let us in. If not, we'll go somewhere else. It says the lot is full. Right, so there's some kind of motorcycle parking up there. I'll go park there. The one thing uh, good about the Super Cub is it's very good at parking. <laughs> All the way in the back here. Okay, we're going to head out. There's another place we can stop. So. All right, no cars in front of us. We can rip it a little bit, but this is a kind of one lane section, so probably not. <laughs> I would think it would have sharper handling. Yeah, it does. It still handles the bumps okay. I don't really feel it bottoming out, but I don't feel like it has a lot of travel either, so... <laughs> Maybe the middle of the stroke is okay. <laughs> so let's say. I know we're sitting in the middle of the stroke. at static. Okay. That's good. Slow down here a little bit. Okay, there's nobody coming. It's all yours, Marlon. Go for it. <laughs> Right in fourth gear, man. Get in third, dude. Should be no reason to get in the fourth gear up here. Okay, oh, there's a car coming up there, but I think we'll be fine. All right. All right, it ain't no dual sport, that's for sure. Very, 
good handling, actually. Yeah, took that quite nicely. Woo! Yeah, you could de you could definitely feel more vibrations in the handlebar. I'll tell you that. <laughs> to stop okay it's amazing how good the braking is after this modification I definitely approve of the braking okay here we go okay this is kind of the less twisty part of Sierra but that's okay yeah dude it transitions a lot faster front just feels more uh, it feels a little more playful it wants to it wants to turn more especially when you're not trying to climb up a hill <laughs> yeah okay here we go now we'll have more fun because we're not going uphill <laughs> Yeah, you would be surprised how good the braking is when your forks don't dive all that much, you know? Alright, we're in fourth gear. Look at that. We're ripping. Road, man. Yeah, I can feel more. I can feel more in the handlebar. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. More vibrations. That's one, that's one thing I'm not liking about this poor kid. Your your hands may go numb after a while. Braking is very good. Front braking. Woo! Dude, we're hauling ass! We're like 50. Yeah, the, the handlebar is noticeably more vibey. Maybe it could be because of the cold weather, the engine's running a little, you know, leaner or something. I don't know. But We're still in fourth gear, maybe we might drop the third. The ride quality actually isn't bad though. It, it's it's a little stiffer, but not by much. Say. But yeah, you'll feel more vibrations. The bike will handle sharper, it'll handle quicker handling, and the and the brakes are better, all right? So, so that's pretty much my assessment of it already, guys. I already kind of made my final thoughts, all right? And, Like it's just so fun to ride. Very good. It feels like the the forks are kind of tougher now. You know? It's not all wet noodle. I don't know. Well, my impressions of the Super Cup handling when it was stock is a. Uh... Impressions of the Super Cup handling when it was stock is that it felt like you just there was no suspension travel at all. It just bottomed out all the time, you know. It felt like it was just sitting at the bottom of the stroke all the time. Woo! It's so fun to ride this because you can't ride it very. I mean, yeah, it's fun to ride it fast because you're not going very fast. <laughs> Little fire flowers. So 
spring is almost upon us, guys. Alpacas. Got a bunch of alpacas here. It feels a little scarier with the front like this. Like you can feel more of the road. You can you feel like yeah, you feel like more you feel less detached from the bike is what I'm gonna say. It feels more like uh, it feels more real, so I'm gonna say. <laughs> The handling is more real. Okay, I'm gonna downshift the third. Brake hard, pitch it in the turn. Woo! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just let it coast through here. And then forth. Just let it coast. little handler now, huh? I mean, the, the handling was already good on the Super Cub. Oh. Off-camera turn, man. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy how much more feel you can you get with the bike. You can feel everything more, like the vibrations, the bumps. Handling everything. Everything is like sh it's like sharper. That's that, that's the correct word. I feel like the bike is sharper. The handling is sharper. The handling, the ride, the braking, everything is sharper. You can feel everything much more. So I I feel that if you if you don't want to really ride your Super Cub, you know, if you're just a mellow rider, probably not a you know probably not the best mod for you. All right. I think if you're going to push the bike hard like Eddie's the Mega does. And yeah, it would be a welcome upgrade. I'd imagine on really bumpy roads, you're probably going to feel it a lot more, if I'm a thing. The braking is sharper, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, another quick photo break. Okay, make sure everything is still on the bike. It looks like it. Bike is still running good. We can go down Sierra for uh, Calaveras a little bit. No, 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 that's fine. That's Calaveras right there. We totally have the gas to do it. You know, so. I don't take my electric bikes up there because they don't have enough power to go to, to go all the way. Ah, what a nice day to go for a ride, I'll tell you that, man. Yes. Ripping around at 45 miles an hour here. Yeah, the ride's still a little bit harsher. A lot of 
people out of the parks today. Okay, we're gonna take a uh, slightly different route. I mean, this is the route I normally take, but uh, I think it gets to more twisty flood. on these cars first. Ooh, look at that, a McLaren. A McLaren or a Ferrari, one of those. <laughs> they all look the same to me, man. <laughs> oh, I dang gum it. These guys are going the same way. Hopefully they're stopping at the park. All right, anyway, this is a really bumpy road, so this will be a good way uh, to test the handling out, I mean the, the ride quality. Yeah, it's not really that, it's not really, I mean it's different than before, but it's really not much worse than it was before, <laughs> to be honest, man. It's not a freaking, uh, it's not a freaking dual sport, man. Here, right here, I'll go over these bottles. Yeah, yeah, you'll feel it a little bit more, but not not really that much. Just because the ride quality wasn't really good on the Super Cup to begin with, you know. I hope you guys are turning into the park, man. There's no other reason to go keep, keep on going straight. All right, here we go. Yeah, lots of traffic today. Sorry guys, it's a Sunday and you know, uh, my intention wasn't to ride the Super Cup fast anyways. I mean, we got it, we got to ride it fast back there anyway, so. Yeah, it's a little scary, <laughs> not gonna lie. But yeah, it does what you want it to do. I feel like, I feel like the bike kind of doesn't want to turn. I, th I think this front tire is worn out. This is a stock tire on this bike. It's 2024 now and this is a 2021. So these tires were like three years old. And they're like nearly worn out. There's not much rubber left on them. I'm looking to go change them. But I'm, I'm waiting for them to totally be bald. <laughs> so remember, Hades Mega uses this bike to make money. I'm trying to squeeze as much as I can. Oh, look at that. Like, it's like orange on the side of the road. It's like, kind of like a wildflower. Woo! I feel myself getting bounced off the seat. I like I need to stand up or something, you know? Yeah, so there's that too. The bike will track the, the ground much better. Like the wheels will stay on the ground more. All right, that or I'll catch air, one of the two. <laughs> All right, I think I have this sleeper here. Downshift to third, brake hard, pitch it to the right. Didn't really need to do that, but. <laughs> All right, right here. Downshift to third, brake hard, pitch it to the right. Nice. Late braking, man, it does it. All right, we're just gonna let it coast through this turns here because there's a stop sign at the very bottom. Let an engine brake in third. All right, engine brake in second. Brake, 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 brake. Oh, man, the <laughs> bike didn't want to turn. All right, brake test, full brakes. Oh, very good, man, I didn't even lock them up. All right, that's it, guys. Now that's the end of the fun. Hades Mega is just gonna ride back to where we started from, from here, and then that's the end of the ride, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there's one more place I'll probably stop and take a picture, but I'll give you my thoughts. On it, I already you already get you guys already know. I talked to it while I was riding. It feels like it's it's sharper. All right, you're gonna feel more everything, guys. Your braking is gonna be a little better. All right, it's gonna break more more sudden. It feels you know it doesn't dive. You know, Ooh, look at all those cherry blossoms. Um, you're gonna feel more of the road for sure, man. You're gonna feel that uh, it like uh, um, you're gonna feel every bump and whatever you know in, in the road. Um, yeah, so the ride quality, 
is is harsher all right it's harsher but not by much all right like i mentioned the super cub uh, ride quality really wasn't that good to begin with all right you will feel more vibrations in the handlebar all right that's for sure that's what I, one thing i noted so i think if you i don't know if you ride this thing at high speeds all the time probably not the best mod because maybe your hands will go numb all right it could be because it's a, a kind of cool weather right now i'd say it's in like the 70s right now maybe 60 70s right now so um oh look at this yeah wildflowers i love it it's only right here though it's kind of weird i can get a picture somewhere around here oh All right, I'll talk about it more uh, when I'm done with my photo op. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're riding through this bumpy road. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, so this, uh, this hill has a lot of wildflowers on it, but only this hill. But you know what we're a good place to ride right now would be Clayton Road. If we went up to Clayton Road, we could see some wildflowers like this, but like everywhere, sort of. There's a, there's a section I know there where when the wildflowers grow, it's like it's beautiful. But it's, it's a really short section, kind of like that, right there. It's kind of weird, it's only doing it right there. Okay, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. back to the uh, YSS fork review. All right. Yeah, you sharper, you're gonna feel everything, all right? You're gonna feel the bumps a little more. You're gonna feel more vibrations in the handlebar. Um, it doesn't make the bike any fat. Well, I mean, it'll be faster around the corners, so that's for sure. The handling will be sharper, quicker, all right, um, and uh, yeah, and the, and the ride quality, in my opinion, I thought the ride would be really harsh, and it's not. It's it's similar. It's a little harsher than it was before, but not by much. Okay, in my opinion. And then so coupled with, with the um, with the YSS rear shock, it's awesome. All right, I really didn't feel it bottom out at all. All right, unless it was bottomed out already. And so you're sitting in that middle stroke, it's going to feel more, it's actually going to feel better, <laughs> think about it. It's actually going to do stuff, you know. Okay, so yeah, those are my honest thoughts right there. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. It's worth it if you are if you want a stiffer ride, okay. If you want stiffer, stiffer handling, more sporty handling out of your Super Cup, then it, 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 it's, it's worth it, okay guys. And it kind of was like a double whammy for me. I, uh, oh, I didn't go through the dirt section back there. Um, yeah, it, it, I, I did some fork maintenance at the same time, and I, we upgraded the forks also, so. Um, I feel, I, I feel this upgrade is better probably for heavier riders, all right? I think if you're maybe like a light, really lightweight rider, if you're like in 120 pounds or something, you know, without gear on, then I think you probably wouldn't need these suspension modifications, all right? Um, one of the things I noticed with the YSS rear shock when I put it on was it doesn't bottom out as much as it used to, all right? Um, I remember the, the stock Super Cub rear suspension, it would bottom out all the time and it would be harsh, like mm, it, would, you, it would, you know, you feel it in your tailbone type of thing, all right? The front, the front has just always kind of been, I feel like there's like no shock absorption at all in the front, all right? <laughs> and now it kind of, it feels like it kind of does something, all right? Very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with the kit, all right? I feel, I feel however, you know, according to the sag and all that stuff, um, it should be, it should still be stiffer, all right? For someone in my, my weight, I, I weigh 190 pounds, guys, without my gear on. So, and, and I feel like we could use a little bit stiffer spring. Just, maybe just a little bit. It's definitely stiffer than what it was before, but it would be better if it was a little bit stiffer, all right? To, to be proper. But it's, compared to what was on there before, this is a definitely a, an improvement, okay? For sure. 
This is probably the way Honda should have released it in the United States. However, I heard that the new Super Cubs, they, uh, they beefed up the suspension on the newer Super Cubs. So I, I don't know, man. So, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the suspension on, on my 2021 Honda Super Cub. Um, uh, and yeah, so I've got the full package, all right, with the YSS front fork and uh, the rear shock. So and, and I like it, all right. Unfortunately, no one is going to know you have a front fork upgrade. But if you have a rear shock upgrade, you'll know. <laughs> um, in, in my opinion, well, so if you had to choose, uh, should I do the rear shock or the front fork? Um, in my opinion, the rear shock is easier to install. For one thing, you don't have to take the whole front end of your bike apart. Okay, and um, and I think it's I think it's about the same price. Yeah, I think I think when you're all in, you're close to like three hundred, four hundred dollars already, man. So that's a scoop. It's it's kind of pricey, all right. But I think it's worth it. It's worth it if you want it to handle better. It handles better, and then you don't even uh, you don't you don't really notice it much harsher than before. Okay. It's really not much harsher than it was before. But the one thing I do notice is yes, you're gonna feel the handlebars more. So I wonder if there's a way I can fix that. To, to quell the handlebar bike, maybe change the grips or something. I don't know, man. Okay, so that's the end of the that's the end of the test ride video for the YSS front forks or the YSS full suspension package. Since I have the the rear front and rear suspension upgrades, um, I like it. I think it's worth it. All right, um, it, the front is definitely more of a pain in the butt to install than the rear. All right, and. Uh, I went full preload on the front, all right? I increased the preload all the way. Now you could probably make it, yeah, so there is that, you, there is some adjustability to the fork now, all right? You can, you can increase or decrease the preload. Uh, according to the, um, the sag, uh, I should have less sag, okay? So I need more, I need more preload or I need a stiffer spring type of thing, all right? But, um, but yeah, it's fine, all right? Uh, I think if you want it to ride softer, you can. All you have to do is crank those down. One th one thing I don't like about this is that to get to those adjusters, you've got to take the cover out the front, all right? And it's a pain in the butt to take it out, all right? And you risk breaking it, all right? It's plastic. It's got these little plastic tabs all over it. I haven't broken anything on it yet, but you never know. That's my second time taking it apart, so. Well, that's what I don't like about this bike. It's just got so much plastic shit on it, man. <laughs> all right, but basically, I don't. Know, you're just gonna set it and forget it, type thing. All right. I think I want a stiffer uh, um, front end, so yeah. If you don't want a stiffer front end and you want to risk bottoming out a lot, then you can make it softer. Okay, guys. That's my honest opinion there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, there, I mean, I've, to be honest, there's really only so much you can do with this Super Cub suspension. It's not very good to begin with, all right, guys? <laughs> and it just makes it, like, just a little bit better. That's what I'll say. But there's, there's nothing you could really do about it, man, unless you just, just do, like, a whole... Like, you swap a 150R front end on it or something, you know? Um, but, yeah. To be... Um, it, it depends on how happy you are with the bike, is type of thing, okay? Um, so, but like I mentioned, I think if you're a heavier rider like me, like if you're somewhere in the 190 pound range, um, then, uh, then this is a good upgrade for you, okay? Because um, the, the stock suspension on the Super Cub is, was made for somebody lighter, man. I'll tell you that, man. Yeah, it, it definitely was made for somebody lighter. So with this, it makes it a little bit better for, for bigger folks, all right? Especially if you're going to be carrying like other people on the bike or something. Yeah. It's a bummer that you uh, you can't get like a higher... Oh, you know what? I think you can get an Olean shock for this bike. Yeah. You can buy some really fancy suspension. But for I think for the money, the YSS suspension is pretty good, okay? It's really not that expensive. And uh, it, it definitely improves the handling. All right. Here's we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hit that a little too hard there. <laughs> I scraped the foot peg on that one. Actually, I didn't scrape the foot peg at all the whole time I was riding. <laughs> Thank you.